So the article says that Stacy and Josie are in Xiao Wu Lai, and Josie says, "I hear great things about Xiao Wu Lai." When she says she hears great things, it doesn't mean that somebody is saying to her right now in present tense, which is normally when we say, "Oh, I hear the sound," but she's saying she has heard of other people say it before. So this is something that a lot of people say. So we can say. Hmm. I heard that the new girl is from America, or I hear that hot pot restaurant on City Boulevard is really good. So we can use "I hear that" 加上子句，用来表达呢，我们听说过的事情是什么。所以 Josie 在这里就说到，我听说过小乌来是个很棒的地方。And why is it a great place? Great place to visit. Oh, so Stacy, our tour guide, says it's great because it's not too far from the city. So our word, first word power word is far. That's F A R far. So the word far means at a great distance. The opposite of far is near. So we can say, hmm. Well, New Pot Taipei City is nearby, but America and Europe are far away. Example sentence says the movie theater is so far from my house. I can't walk there. The movie theater is so far from my house. I can't walk there. Far 这个形容词呢是遥远的，那相反字呢就是相近的 near 这个字。那我们例句说啊，电影院离我家好远哦，我没有办法走路过去。A D 和 B D 相距遥远，我们可以说 A B far from。B. For example, my workplace is far from my house. 我工作的地方离我家很远。不过呢，还好小乌来跟 city 城市不远 ，so it's easy for people to get to 小乌来。Oh, all right. So she says, "Come on, let's go and see the waterfall." So "come on" is a casual phrase that's used in speaking when asking someone to come along. Come on. Join me. Let's do something together. So if I want to invite Elsie to go shopping, I say, "Elsie, come on, let's go shopping." So to convince her to come with me. Yeah. So come on. 在这边呢是邀请人一起去做某件事的意思。Stacy 邀请 Josie 跟她一起去看 waterfall. Boo boo. So in the next part of the article, they're walking on the skywalk, and it says Stacy takes Josie to the Xiao Wu Lai skywalk. So skywalk is basically a walkway between two buildings. So in Taipei, we have Xinyi District. There's many different skywalks which are connecting theaters and shopping malls. So skywalk 这个字呢，就像是字面上所显示的。天空步道，小乌来呢 ？The Skywalk， 他们的天空步道是非常有名的。No wonder Stacy takes Josie there. So Stacy says, "All right, this is our first stop." Looks back at Josie. Are you okay? Hmm, what's wrong? Maybe Josie is a little bit scared. I'm really scared. <gasps> Why is Josie scared? Ah, <gasps> she's really scared because I think she's scared of heights. Maybe、oh. she doesn't want to walk on the skywalk. Maybe、oh, that's a good point. Yeah. So she looks down and she says, "Oh, she's scared of heights." Oh, she's scared of heights. 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 Floor.、Yeah. Oh, what's that? So we have glass. That's G L A S S glass. So glass is a hard surface that's transparent or clear, and it's usually used to make windows, sometimes doors. But if the floor is made of glass, that means you look down and you see the bottom. So you're really high up, and that's really scary. And she's probably scared of heights. So our example sentence says, "I can look inside the house through its glass windows." I can look inside the house through its glass windows. Glass 当做玻璃用的时候呢，它是一个不可数名词哦。所以如果看到地上一块玻璃，你要人家小心。你可以说 "There is a piece of glass on the floor." 那我们例句说啊，我可以透过这间房子的玻璃窗户看到里面去。Ooh, what's in there? Ooh. 再来呢 ，glass 它其实也可以当做可数名词哦。那解释为玻璃杯，比如说 a glass of water 就是一个玻璃杯的水。那回到对话里面呢、啊、，Josie 害怕的原因是啊，地板是 glass， 玻璃制成的是透明的 ，it's transparent. I would be scared too.、Oh. <laughs> so Josie wants to stay behind, which means she doesn't. 
don't want to walk onto the floor. Staying behind. Stay behind 就是留在原地不走 She wants to stay behind because she is very scared. But her friend Stacy is not convinced. She's even making fun of Josie a little bit. So she says, "Why? Oh, are you scared of heights?" So we have scared. That's S C A R E D. Scared. So scared is an adjective, which means you're frightened of something or you're afraid something bad might happen. People are scared of so many things: spiders, cockroaches, heights. Scared of the dark. So our example sentence says, "Jenny is scared of the dark, so she always keeps a light on at night." Jenny is scared of the dark, so she always keeps a light on at night. Scared 这个形容词呢，是形容你的心情是感到害怕的。那除了 scared 之外呢，我们可以用 fra- afraid 或者是 frightened 这两个形容词也可以。那我们例句说啊 ，Jenny 很怕黑，所以她夜里总是留盏灯。Ooh, so in that sentence, we have another word power word to look at, which we talked about before.、Mm-hmm. That's heights, H E I G H T S, heights. So heights in this case refers to a high place above ground. It could be、uh, standing on a tall building and or the mountain and looking down. We call those heights. So when we say someone is scared of heights, that means they don't like being in a high place above ground level. So we have an example sentence that says, "You can see lots of small cars driving on the roads from the heights." Of this building, you can see lots of small cars driving on the roads from the heights of this building. Heights 这个名词呢，它是高处的意思。那记得哦，如果是当高处解释，它是横复数，字尾一定会有一个 s 在。那我们例句说啊，从这栋大楼的高处，你可以看见许多小汽车在路上开着。Rainbow, I'm just like Josie, you know. I'm scared of heights. <gasps> Ooh, are you scared of heights, Rainbow? You know, I used to be scared of heights, but now actually not anymore. I think I grew up and just like was like, oh, I'm gonna get used to it, and I try to do things that challenge me.、Mm-hmm. So now I'm not too scared. Then what are you scared of? <laughs> Nothing. <gasps> You're a brave woman. We will have to find out. All right. So Stacy continues in the article and says, "Come on, it's not that scary." So again, we see that she says, "Come on." So in this case, we're not saying "come here." We're saying, "Oh, it's okay. It's not that bad." So she's trying to convince Josie, but just saying, "It's all right. Don't worry about." It. It's a little bit different. So in English, sometimes we use phrases, and they have different uses based on the context. 这里的 come on 语气要这个样子啊，哈 ，come on， 像是中文里面的拜托，拜托 ，it's not that scary， 没那么可怕，好吗 ？So it's not that scary is a casual way of saying maybe compared to something else. You know, maybe it's like, what is another scary thing compared to a big earthquake? Compared to the ceiling falling down, it's not that bad. So that is a comparative phrase. So we can say, oh, Elsie, you have to take a test tomorrow. Oh, it's okay. It's not that bad. So basically, we're trying to convince the other person it's not as terrible as she probably thinks. Rainbow, look at this boy. I think he's so handsome. Honestly, he's not that great. Really, you could do better. Ah,、uh, 没那么帅哦，好吧。好了，另外呢，我们在文章里面还看到一个形容词是 scary， 它是令人害怕的。那跟前面提过的 scared 感到害怕的是不相同的。All right, so Josie hasn't stopped worrying. She says, "I'm scared stiff." All right. So what does that mean? So stiff is like hard. So you're like.、Ugh. So if you're scared stiff, it means you're so scared that you can't move. You're like frozen. Oh, so be scared stiff 代表你感到非常害怕，害怕到 you are stiff. 你僵硬不能动 She's scared because she worries too much, right? But like I said, I'm just like her. Yeah. So she's scared, and she says, "What if the glass、What? breaks?" So when we're talking about saying、uh, something that hasn't happened yet, but we're worried, we might say, "What if?" This is a imagine situation. It's like,、oh, "What if it rains? What if I'm late? What if he doesn't like me? What if?" 
Okay, so when people say what if a lot, it means they're probably not that confident because they're always worried about something happening that hasn't happened yet. What if? What if? What if? 要是某事发生了怎么办呢？ Mm. 就是就担心啦。要是玻璃破了怎么办 ？What if the glass breaks? Everybody falls down and dies.、Uh, so <laughs> Stacy's like, it's okay, right? So she says. Don't worry. Only twenty-five people can go on it at one time. It's safe.、Hmm, so I'm not sure if that's supposed to make her feel better. But Or, it's only twenty-five. So if it's twenty-six, <gasps> oh my god! And the twenty-six <laughs> would just fall down. <laughs> so that's the limit of people stepping on the glass. Maybe she thinks it's safer. Maybe <laughs> Stacy 这边就。试着想要安抚 Josie， 说不要担心啦，一次只有二十五个人能够走在上面。Okay, maybe Josie can be less worried. Yeah, so Josie's like, hmm, I'm convinced. She says, okay, but please don't leave me behind. She needs to make sure Stacy's going with her, so she doesn't. Maybe she's even holding her hand. Don't leave me behind. Don't leave me behind. 就是不要丢下我一个人。但是有的时候啊，你心情不好，你想要一个人的时候，你可以说。Leave me alone. Oh yeah. Why? 不要来烦我。所以两个同学们都可以学起来。Yeah. All right. So Stacy says, "I won't." After this, we'll see the beautiful Shao Wu Lai waterfall. So I won't means I won't leave you behind. 我不会丢下你一个人的。那走完 Skywalk 天空步道之后呢，我们就可以看见漂亮的瀑布了。So is Josie okay now? Oh, and Josie says you're right. It'll be worth it in the end. When we say that something is worth it, that means that we put hard work into something and it wasn't wasted, or we did something really difficult and there was a good result. And when we say in the end, that means finally. Or at the end, so end is also finish. And the opposite of that is start. So the term in the end means finally. 在这个句子当中呢，我们先看到这个形容词是 worth， 它代表的是值得的。所以最后呢 ，Josie 就自己安慰自己说：“好啦，没错啦，最后会是值得的。” Oh, so we have come to our end. That's it for today's Xiao Wu Lai article. Let's check out our magic box. 